All right, welcome to another GarageBand tutorial. So I made this entire beat, and then my uh, screen recording stopped working when I tried to save it. So that's why I haven't really been pushing out a lot of these GarageBand videos, is because the Apple screen recording just sucks. So I guess I'll just go through and break down everything I did. Hopefully that's enough. I'll try again with the screen recording making a beat from scratch, but it's kind of uh, stressful, I guess, because you never know when it's going to stop working. Like, even now. But anyway, so this is the melody that I made. I'll show you the sound if you want to use it. It's, uh, it's the this sound. And the mallets. What's it called? Tubular synth bell. But I, uh, I press this. And that's something you can do with the alchemy synths, is if you don't like the the sound of the main one you pressed, you should press this, there's a thousand more. But I particularly chose this one. So, there's that. And then, in the settings of it, I turned down all the bass so I could let my 808 uh, hit. And I turned up the reverb, and for the reverb, it's a moon dome. So... That's how I did that. Here's how it sounds. So that's a pretty basic uh, melody, but it's gonna be kind of like the chords, or I guess like the, the foundation of the beat. So then the second melody that I decided to add was this uh, flute. It says tubular synth bell because I just copied this one and put it here so I would get it on the right notes. But uh, I'll show you the sound of it first. So when you're not using alchemy synths, you can go back and go down to other and find some like real instruments that are synthesized. Um, the flute isn't really that good. So especially if you use a lot of like flute types beats. So I use the oboe on this one. And um, yeah, so that's what the notes look like. Right here. Um, yeah, here's what it sounds like. I can't really give too many tips on making melodies because that's all really up to you. But this is what the two sound like together. So then I made this melody with a ethereal guitar. That's uh, right here in the string stuff. And I use this this version of it right here. Also, if you don't like any of the other versions, but you kind of like how the sound's going, you can obviously do all of this changing and stuff. But I don't usually get crazy with the sound design. I just, like, pick one. So, it's kind of like a, a weird, like, I don't know what it's called again. It's like a counter melody. So that's what this is. That's pretty cool. I achieved like the the stress kind of noise by changing this to pitch. And I could really uh, mess with it a lot that way. So that's how I got this uh, note right here. But yeah, and that's this is what it sounds like with the uh, main melody. So, yeah. Okay, so the next part of the tutorial is going to be about how to put drum kits into GarageBand. If you already know how to do this, you can just skip to 157. Okay, so this is going to be how you get uh, like drum kits or non-native uh, GarageBand sounds into GarageBand. So basically, 
the app you're going to want to use is Documents by uh, like Readle or Riattle or whatever. So you type in Documents into the App Store, and then you download this one right here. It looks like I need an update, but anyways. Um, so once you download that, you'll have uh, that it looks like this. And then you go to uh, YouTube, and you find your drum kit. Uh, you probably want mine because some sounds don't work with GarageBand. They're like too good for it or too like too low high quality or whatever. Whatever it is, these sounds definitely work with GarageBand. Uh, so this is probably a good bet for you. It's in the description of this video. So right here, go to Safari. So you don't want to download right here. You want to press the bottom right where it says little, little Safari. So open that and then you'll be in Safari. So what you want to do is take the link. Once you copy the link, you're going to go into Documents right here. Press in the bottom right that button. It'll say Links You Copied. Go to that link. Press Download. You can tell it to download to just Documents. So go back, it should have your thing. Open it. Now you've extracted it, and here's the drum kit. All the sounds. So now what you want to do is go into GarageBand. And once you're in GarageBand, press the little loop thing in the top right to the left of the wrench. Press Files on the top in the middle. Press uh, Browse Items from the Files app. Press the little browse thing so it sends you back to the beginning of everything. Press documents. Press the drum kit. If you saved it to downloads, go into downloads and press it. And let's say I want, well, you probably want all the sounds. So you'll have to, you do have to do this uh, individually. So I'm going to uh, do this sound. It was the shaker. So I'll type in shaker. I already, of course, had one, but. Now you have that uh, sound from the drum kit. Now that the drum kit portion is over, we will return to the beat. In the beat, there's going to come to a point where you're done making melodies and you just want to make some drums. So what I usually do uh, for my drums is I press the plus and in the keyboard I press sampler. And this is where you can put the, the drums in. So you go to my samples and It'll have like this reverb on it already. So you want to press this and just get rid of that. I don't know why it wants all your drums to have reverb automatically. I think that should be an option that they change, but that's how it is right now. So that's a step you have to take to make your, unless you, like if you don't want reverb. But anyway, so once you're done like with that, uh, you go down and then you can place a drum into it. So let's say, let's say I wanted to clap. And I don't have too many uh, sounds here because I got a new phone and all my song or all my sounds from my old phone didn't transfer. So yeah. So this is the, the south side one is usually the one I use. You want to like drag it into its own little th new thing. And then you can like trim it if you want, if it doesn't come in right away. But otherwise, drag it into the channel. Now you have your uh, clap. So just record that. And then now you have the clap, but it wouldn't be exactly where you uh, want it. So then you'd move it like this and edit it. And then probably I would delete that one. But then you can go in and add claps wherever you want. But yeah, that's how you would do drums and add them. So let me show you what I did for my clap. So basically, I just put it in in the middle of every bar. That's pretty much what I always do with my clap. Sometimes I get a little fancy and add a clap before it, or I add like some other claps, but I didn't do any of that. So that's this is what it sounds like. Pretty pretty simplistic. 
I then uh, made the snare. And this is a pretty common snare pattern. People don't really uh, go too far from this. And uh, all these sounds, by the way, are in my drum kit. I will link that in the description. Then I added a hi-hat. It's very simple. It's just a two-step pattern. How you would go about making this, I'll do it like right here, is you would just put in a note, shrink it down, yep, to this size. That's an eighth note. Do that. And you don't have to do this for the whole pattern if you don't want to. You can just copy it, line up your thing, and just paste a bunch of them. But I already have my pattern down here on the note that I want it, so I'll just delete that. And it sounds like this. So, then I added the 808. And with all these, you can kind of, you don't even really need to hear the melody to know how, how at least the clap and hi-hat go. But like, what you really need to hear the melody while you make is the 808. So what I did was I had these playing at the same time to make sure they were uh, in the same key. And uh, what, what you do here is, let's say you don't know music theory. A lot of producers don't, so that's fine. But a good way to make sure your song, your, your track is in key, well, not in key, but like your 808s aren't off, is to kind of be like the, the uh, bass note of your melody. So for this one, it would be right here. You kind of go from C, because that's the only thing in the piano roll that's consistent, uh, that's shown. So you'd see one, two, three. Three white notes below th uh, C is where the bass note of the melody is. You can also do that with other notes, like a supporting note is right here which is two uh, white notes below C and on C itself. So that's where you would go about putting the 808. So of course I put the first note and I would always put an 808 hitting on the first note of your pattern. I put that three uh, white notes below C. Uh, this is of course dumbing it down and on that supporting note I told you about, and right here on C itself. So that's what, this is what the 808 sounds like. So, all together, actually I'll just unmute it all. That's probably a better plan. So, the only other thing I added was a kick. Pretty simple. It just hits like three times. So, that's, that's that. Usually you want your kicks coming in on the same note as your 808. You could obviously move them a little bit to come after. Uh, but... You don't you don't have to. As long as your as long as your drums are bouncing, it doesn't matter really. So what I did to strengthen these kicks to make them sound uh, a little more powerful in the overall mix, so I went over here, I went into the plugins and EQs, edit, it's right up here, and I added one of these uh, effects. So I particularly just added overdrive. I'm gonna delete. Uh, this one though because I already have it and I, I just played around with it with these little knobs until it was at uh, at something that I liked which was this and it sounds pretty good with the 808 so yeah then uh, then I laid out the entire beat I added my tag um, and yeah I'll show you the final beat
And also, let me know in the description if you want a, a video on how to make your own producer tag, because I get a lot of questions about that. So I was wondering if y'all uh, still wanted to know about that. But yeah, here's the final beat. Peace.